Hi, welcome to this special series on building Android apps using machine learning kit and TensorFlow Lite libraries. If you are wondering who I am, my name is Ankur Kumar and I have been building mobile apps for Android and iOS since 2009. In the recent Google I.O., many code labs were released around machine learning apps and I thought it would be nice to do a detailed walkthrough on how to go about them and also bridge the gaps for developers who are not from mobile development background. In this series, we will use Android Studio and Java programming language to showcase seven use cases of machine learning. So namely, image classification, flower identification, object detection, face detection, audio classification, bird sound identifier, and finally, a spam text detector. Now, most of them are already inbuilt using the machine learning kit, but we will also demonstrate how to use custom models for some of them. So namely, image classification is inbuilt in machine learning kit and it already classifies the image in around 400 plus labels. Flower identification is built on top of image classification, which can identify up to five flowers in the data set that we have used. Object detection and face detection are both inbuilt and you can already start using them. Likewise, audio classification is also inbuilt in machine learning kit and can identify a lot of different types of audios. The bird sound identifier is built using TensorFlow Lite on top of the audio classification model. Spam text detector is a custom model built to identify spam comments which the users might be trying to send or comment or post on your websites or your app so that you can easily detect and block them even before they can comment it. So let's see a small demo. We will start with image classification. So let's try this photo of London. So you can see the ML kit model has already identified infrastructure, vehicle, bus and road. So I've only chosen the labels which have more than 70% probability. Otherwise, you might have seen little more labels. The next one we can see is object detection. Let's pick a food photograph. So you can see it has identified food here. So for different types of food and the location in the image, which can be used for different purposes. Now let's try flower identification. So this model can detect up to five different types of flowers because we have only given data set for them. So roses and daisies are one of them. So you can see it has correctly identified a rose with 92% probability. And then we have face detection. So this is already inbuilt. So you can see it has identified almost 39 faces with the location in the image and their corresponding label. So you can maybe do a little more processing on them. So that was the demo. To follow along, you will need a Windows, Linux or a Mac machine where you can install Android Studio and probably an Android phone. If you don't have an Android phone, you can still follow along all the exercises in the Android emulator or the virtual device that comes along with the Android Studio. Now, all of this might sound like a lot of coding, but as, but as you will figure out in the due course of this series that it is actually quite easy to build. I will take you step by step right from installing Android Studio, building your first Hello World app, running it on the emulator and a physical device, and then adding machine learning kit and TensorFlow Lite libraries, and finally using them to build these seven use cases of machine learning. If you are already a seasoned Android developer, the full code is available on my GitHub. The links are in the description. If you are more interested in learning about Android and the new programming language Kotlin, I have a free detailed course on my YouTube channel. The link is in the description and you can check it out. Okay, so let's begin by installing Android Studio. For that, open up your browser and go to developer.android.com. This is the place where you get all the help for Android apart from Stack Overflow. This is the place where you will find all the libraries, their description and even the reference guide for the Android APIs. So as soon as you go to developer.android.com, you will see a button to download Android Studio. If you want to launch your app, you go to Launch Play Console. And if you want some very basic courses on Android from Google, you can check out this tab. So let us begin by clicking on Download Android Studio. This will take you to the Studio page and the website will automatically try to discover what kind of operating system you are on and will suggest the most optimum file for you. If you are downloading on some other system or for somebody else who has a different 
machine, you can go to download options and check out the other executables for installing Android Studio. So let's click on download Android Studio. You will have to read and agree to the terms and conditions. So the download has started. So while the download is going on, let us see what Android Studio offers as features. So this is a complete IDE for developing Android apps. So integrated development environment where you can write code, the layout, the UI, the code, the services. You can add your icons, images, databases, everything. So when I say database, I mean the database which is built inside your app and shipped along with that. And you can even debug the performance of your app using the Android Studio. Even collect logs and share it with other developers or testers. So you have a visual layout editor and also the new Compose library is now 1.0, which means that if you are comfortable with writing UI as code, something that you do in React or using SwiftUI, you can now do that in Android. And that is available as a stable version. Apart from that, you also have a fully functional emulator, which comes with its inbuilt camera and also audio recording. Something which is not available in iOS. It also has functioning calls in SMS. So you can actually send SMS and uh, trigger a mock call to uh, debug or simulate those kind of scenarios. So there is an intelligent code editor with a lot of uh, autocomplete profilers and a build system, which, which can help you build the final bundle, which is supposed to be given to the Play Store. So the download has finished. Let's start by clicking on that file and start the installation. Okay, so if you are not a seasoned Android developer, I would recommend you to leave all these settings unchecked apart from what I tell you to. So just make sure that you have this Android virtual device checked. It will take around 3 GB on your uh, system plus the libraries that it will download later. Okay, so this installation is complete. We will start the Android Studio and then we will go with the and then we'll go with the setup wizard. So I had a Android Studio already installed, so that is why it's showing me this previous version. This will not come up for you guys. So this is the latest Android Studio Arctic Fox. So updating Android Studio components is up to you. So this is the setup wizard. So let's keep everything standard. I like the dark theme, so I'll use the dark color. And once finished, it will start downloading the other platform tools. So Android is released as a platform. So you might have heard Android 11, Android 10 being released. So likewise, we also have platform SDKs, which are meant for each specific Android version. So if I'm developing an app specifically for Android 11, I will start by downloading the platform for which is meant for Android 11. And each of the emulator that we set up is also corresponding to a specific version. While most of the versions are backward compatible, to find specific bugs, you might have to sometimes install those emulators. But as a general practice, the latest emulator will just do fine. So our installation is complete. In the next video, we will start by creating a simple Hello World project, compile it and then try to run it on an emulator. In the process, we will also set up an emulator and we will see some of the common problems or settings that you might have to do to bring that emulator up. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.